Hey guys, what's up? Kevin here with Fandroid.com um, and today I'm taking a look at LazyDroid web desktop for your Android phone. Um, what this is, is it's an application you put on your phone and it turns it into kind of a reverse remote server. You're not accessing your computer from your phone, but rather you're accessing your phone from your computer. To get started, you just launch LazyDroid right from your applications menu and it's going to pull up this screen. And This is all the application is on your handset. It's going to be this little um, power button symbol it's going to tell you that the server status is on and it gives you this address. And that's the address that you enter into your browser to get the full LazyDroid web desktop experience. Right now it's just in release candidate 1 so there's still um, a lot of work to be done but the, the features so far look pretty cool so we're just going to take a quick walk through them. You'll see the desktop is set up a lot like your Windows desktop. Uh, here's your shortcuts but there's also a start icon down here and this can go down here to launch everything you need. So we got open here is the file manager. The file manager is going to act just like your um, file manager on your phone. You can access all of your files, your SD card, uh, your phone storage, get all of your saved documents, saved pictures and that sort of thing, pull them from your phone, uh, download them directly to your computer. Here's a look at the sensors window for your lazy droid web desktop. You can see here it's going to pull in information from your phone's sensors, GPS, accelerometer, uh, proximity and light sensor, those sort of things. The most useful part is probably this um, map here you get the Google Maps pull out. Another pretty cool feature of LazyDroid is this camera window. Um, you can see it's not connected right now but what would happen is you would get a uh, stream from your phone's camera right there on your screen so you'd be able to remotely view whatever your phone's camera is, is pointed at. What most people are probably going to get the most use out of here on LazyDroid is the SMS feature which is going to let you view your SMS history, open text messages and respond to text messages directly from the application. Um, so if you get a new text message, a pop-up is going to come up here and tell you a new text message. You can just launch your SMS window. Uh, down here you're going to get the thread text and then you can respond and delete and mark as read and do everything that you need to do right from your computer. No need to even pick up your phone. So here's the contacts window which is basically going to give you access to all of your stored contacts on your phone. Um, you're going to be able to open a contact. Uh, it'll load their information, their contact card over here and you'll have the options to uh, SMS that contact or call them. And now if you call them, you just hit this call button and it's going to have your phone call that number, switch it to speakerphone, and you won't have to pick up your handset to place a call if your phone's nearby. Welcome to Bank of America. If you're a root user, you have access to one more feature that uh, other users aren't going to get and that's a remote view of your handset. And this essentially is going to let you look at your phone, do anything on your phone right from your computer, turning the whole setup into a wireless web top experience, much like what you'd find on the Motorola Atrix. And that's a look at LazyDroid, the uh, web desktop utility for Android phones. I mean, that's essentially um, going to give you that Motorola Atrix web top sort of experience without the need to have the Motorola Atrix or the laptop connection. Uh, you get it right here wirelessly in your browser. Um, it's pretty cool. Check it out in the Android market, LazyDroid.